Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video we're going to be looking at a Math Olympia question. So if you're given the following scenario, if you have x squared minus y squared and you're told that's let's say 24 and you're given x times y is 35, can you work out what x plus y would be? So I've seen this question a couple of times like on Facebook and all that so I'm going to give through pretty much how to solve it and break it down step by step. So the first thing you want to do is pretty much take a look at this guy here. And what we're going to do is pretty much use some previous stuff that we've taken a look at before. So if you have a squared minus b squared, you can rewrite that as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. And you can double check this because if you were to distribute these terms out, you would get your um, left hand side there. So for example, a times a will be a squared, a times b will be, um, a times negative b will negative ab, a times b will be positive ab, and then b times negative b will be minus b squared. And you'll see those terms cancel and you get exactly this here. So what we're going to do is pretty much go, all right, x squared minus y squared is 24. First thing we're going to do is apply that straight away. So we can rewrite this as x plus y multiply by x minus y and then multiply it equals 24. What we're going to do now is square both sides. So if you square both sides, you can apply the square to both the terms individually because of index laws. Um, to this side you can do it as well because there's no plus or minuses so there won't be any crazy stuff there. So you can rewrite this side as x plus y all squared multiplied by x minus y all squared. 24 squared is going to be 576. So this is what we've got so far. Now we can expand each of these terms here because if we have x plus y all squared, what that actually means is just x plus y times x plus y. And if you were to multiply each of the terms together, this is what you're going to get. x times x is x squared. x times y is xy y times x is xy again because they're the same thing and then you're going to get y squared so what you'll get is x squared minus 2xy on that plus 2xy plus y squared now you'll get the exact same thing with this one here except there'll be a minus sign here in the middle so you'll get x squared minus 2xy plus y squared so we can replace this guy here with that there and we can replace this guy here with that there so what we have pretty much is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared multiplied by x squared minus 2xy plus y squared equals 576. Now, you, we got told what x times y was. x times y, recall, is 35. And you can see we have x times y in these bits here. So we can substitute 35 into there. So what we're going to get is x squared plus y squared plus 2 times 35, which is 70. Then you're going to get x squared plus y squared. Negative 2 times 35 is minus 70. And that's what we've gotten so far. Now, we can apply the difference of squares again. So if we consider this term here as an A, and this term here is A, they're both A's, this term here is B, and this term here is B, what we have is A plus B multiplied by A minus B, which we can rewrite as A squared minus B squared. So, rewriting this left-hand side here, we're going to have pretty much um, X squared plus Y squared, that's my A, so that's all squared, minus my B, which is 70, all squared is equal to um, 576, okay? Now, what we're going to do pretty much is get this by itself. So I have x squared plus y squared all squared is equal to 576 plus 70 all squared. 70 squared is going to be, I believe, 4900. I'll double check that as well. I don't trust myself. <laughs> there we go. Yep. So if we add those together, we're going to get 5, 4, 7, 6. And this is what we've got so far. Okay. 
So, so far we're nowhere near close to answering this question here, but we can try and work that out as well. So, if we have this here, x plus y, and we square that, what we're going to get is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. We know x times y is um, 35. So if we substitute this into here, we'll have x squared plus y squared is equal well, plus 2 times 35, which is 70. And this is what you get here. Now, as you can see really quickly, we've almost got two things very similar. We've got that and we've got that there. All we've got to do is square root this side here. So I have x squared plus y squared is equal to plus or minus the square root of 54.76, which I believe I'll do that in the calculator. I can't do that in my head. 54.76. Plug that in and you're going to get plus or minus 74. So x squared plus y squared is 70, plus or minus 74. So we can plug this information up here. So we have x squared uh, or x plus y all squared is equal to plus or minus 74 plus 70. So that means we've got two scenarios. We've got x plus y all squared is equal to plus 74 plus 70. Or we've got x plus y all squared is equal to minus 74 plus 70. So what we have here is pretty much two scenarios. So here we're going to have 144 is equal to x plus y all squared. And here we're going to have x plus y all squared is equal to negative 4. Square root both sides. So x plus y is plus or minus the square root of 144. Here we have x plus y is equal to this plus or minus the square root of negative 4. The square root of negative 4 can be written as the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1. The square root of negative 1 is a complex number we call i. So what we have is 2i. So our first solution, x plus y, is going to be plus or minus 2i. And our second solution, x plus y, is going to be plus or minus 12. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.